can't take it anymore. I'm seriously gonna starve. Can I eat a gel? No. <sighs> Does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. <sighs> the pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ah, what a tyrant. That last battle was sure fast. I wish all battles were that easy. Easy? I don't know, I didn't feel much of anything. I wanted a little more action, you know? Oh, you're a fan of getting beaten to a pulp while struggling to beat some crazed giant monster? Ah, uh, don't put it like that, old man. It's not struggling, it's fun. So much fun. The best part about a battle is its raw challenge. It's raw challenge, huh? I kinda like the way that sounds. Ah, uh, sorry, but I'd prefer to avoid the hard-fought battles. They're rough on these old bones. But that makes it even more fun. How's that? That's for you to find out, old man. Alright, well, you might wonder why I'm way back here. This is Aspio up here. Uh, if, while you're clearing out the map, and I've gotten a good amount of the map done, if you come up in this area, you should find the adventure camp, which is right up there, and uh, fight a few battles. I won't lose. It's kind of a little bit easy to beat these guys right now. So, yeah. Do I have to kill everyone? How do you level up after these guys? It's not like there's any challenge to them. So, uh, I'm gonna head up there. There's a, uh, there's a pretty big side quest. <laughs> here we go. In these, uh, in the games here, if you go and talk to them. Oh, great! Finally, I can equip that uh, bow for Raven. There we go. There's a pretty interesting side quest if you come to the adventure camp or whatever it's called. And you have to talk to this guy. No? Yeah, yeah! Hmm, that's a pretty ancient looking sword. <laughs> that blade's gotten really dull, too. It's no longer anything more than an antique, unfit to cut man or beast. Is that sword important to you? Belong to someone I respect. Can't just get rid of it. Rich, it seems like you're not just running a traveling inn just for the heck of it, am I right? Hmm. <laughs> You shouldn't be so nosy, Carol. It's all right. I'm I'm a warrior, not an innkeeper. I left my village with Karen to slay Giganto monsters. I was fifteen at the time. When were you fifteen? How old are you now? I'm twenty-eight. Thirteen years, huh? That's pretty long. The Giganto monster. That's the name of a giant type of monster living all over the world. I heard that an extermination force sent by the Empire to kill them was entirely wiped out. Until every single one of those monsters has fallen, I cannot go back to my hometown. Why is that? Sounds like there's something you're not telling us. Maybe we can help? Seems like you're having a tough time of it. But you see... I don't know the details, but you committed to doing this yourself, didn't you? Yeah... Then it sounds like this is a... This, it, it, up uh, wah. Then it sounds like this, it, up to him, Carol. I think there's a typo. Yeah. Thanks for letting us stay the night. No problem. Come again! Maybe we should have helped them. We can't solve all the world's problems by ourselves. Though if we ever happen to run into these monsters that he was talking about, we might as well take them out for him. I don't see any problem with doing that much. Yeah, alright. And, uh... 
or how are you? I guess I'm alright. I uh, completely missed this side quest in my first run through, so that's the first time I ever saw that cutscene. Anyways, we're not quite back to where we're supposed to go yet, so I'll see you when we get there. We sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> Sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder... It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question, too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. After a long trek of scouring this world, I have done about as much exploration as I can. There are a few places I can't quite get to yet, and uh, this version of the map kind of shows better. These white areas I can't quite reach yet, uh, but I'll get to them eventually. So, uh, let's head on. Nord Palika is right around the corner here. Should be a city kind of thing nearby. Or maybe it just tricked me into thinking that there was one. Yes, it's further south. I know it's around here someplace. I have been here before. Shining City. This is the pirate ship there. You can see that it's in a... well, you might be able to tell it's in a different location. That moves around quite a bit. And there's Nordopolica right there. Do a little more clearing. As soon as you get relatively close, you automatically get sucked into a cutscene, which is why I couldn't explore this area earlier. And here we are. There's Nordopolica. Yep, otherwise known as the Colosseum City. Once popular among the nobility as a place for pitting criminals against each other in brutal contests, Norda Palica is currently run by the guild Palastrale and has become a city of entertainment. Yeah, Palastrale's just as big a guild as the Dawn's Altosk, and... My, how pretty. So, a party in the streets every day, huh? This is gonna be great! Since when are you on vacation? Oh yeah, right. Minion's work is never done. You're the Dawn's messenger, so don't be rude to Bellius. Young man, you are looking at a veritable paragon of manners and good breeding. <laughs> We've arrived safely, thanks to you all. Once I've unloaded my cargo, the Fiertia belongs to you, as promised. Thanks! We'll take good care of her. So, are the sands of Kogor still a long way from here? They lie far to the west of Nordopolica. Aren't there some big mountains on the way there? That would make going by foot a problem. Wonder if we could get there by boat. I don't think that's possible. Not many people go to the desert. I doubt there would be a place to moor a boat. Are you seriously going through with this? I told you, the desert is really dangerous. I can't just let you go to a place like that all by your... I mean... Dropping anchor. The Coliseum City, Nordopolica. Good work. Thanks. No, no. Thank you. You're a huge help. Right. Mutual back scratching and all that. Oh, m Madam President, it's an honor to, to have you here. Excavating more ruins? I'm always impressed that the guild boss himself supervises the excavations. The, the excavation of r ruins is wh what I live for. Who's that? That's Regay, the head of Ruins Gate. Ruins Gate? That sounds familiar. They're the guild that's helping the Imperial Mages excavate ruins. Oh, that's why I've heard of them. Well, I, I have friends who are expecting me, so if you'll excuse m me... He seems like a nice person. 
Hey, you were talking earlier about a guild that's selling Hoplone Blastia. You mean Leviathan's Claw? Do you think they might be getting their Blastia under the table from those Ruin guys? Ruin's Gate is completely innocent. How can you be so sure? They're upstanding, serious, diligent. That's what they're known for. Well, I'm off. Take good care of the Fiertia. Say hi to Tokunaga for me, too. Sure. Good luck, brave Vesperia. Thanks! Mage is selling Blastia on the black market? That is so not good. Rita? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I got some work to do myself. Oh, yeah, your letter. It's for Bellius, right? Yep. Hey, why don't we all go? Good idea. She probably knows something about Pharaoh. We'll just tag along with you and say hi to Bellius. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Of course, uh, I've only heard rumors, but, uh, hmm. What? Is something wrong? Huh? Nah, it's nothing. Where can we find Bellius? The Colosseum, probably, since Bellius is the Duce of Palastrali. Deuce! Just what sort of person is this Bellius, exactly? Well, that's just it. I've heard the name often enough, but I've never met the person. Carol, do you know? I've only lived in Dongress, so I don't really know the guilds in Nordopolica. The last thing we need is another Don on our hands. <laughs> you can say that again. One Don is plenty. I can hardly wait to meet Bellius now! <laughs> because, uh, it's like, they're done, or? What will you do while we're away? I was thinking of going around and buying some tools for the maintenance of the ship. You're not expecting us to pay for that, are you? Don't worry, Madam President Kaufman is paying for all the ship's maintenance costs. That's nice of her. I'd like to get a new Cirrus Blastia as well, but it's so expensive. Yep, very true. That's due to the Empire's supervision of its sales. Therefore, it's possible I may not be here when you come back. If that's the case, please wait for me to return, would you? Sure thing. Oh, well... Who's this? This is the wharf. If you're looking to travel by sea, you'll be leaving from here. So, um, leave things on the ship up to me. I guess we can't go for another trip. Oh well. Not like there's much left to do other than what we've already done, so. First time visiting the Coliseum, I think the excitement of it overwhelmed me a bit. The night breeze from the ocean feels marvelous. It calmed me right down. Uh, is that a person? Nothing like a quiet night to soothe a weary soul. Want some tips? Excuse me if I'm not overly excited. You're my only customer so far. Um, random people think this is a thing. So it's your first visit to reach the Coliseum. Go to the north. Are we going to see Bellius? Oops, this way will take us out of town. Because that's not what I was trying to do at all. Anyways. Looks like everyone's lazy today, so I'll just head up this way. I don't think I'll be able to do anything until I sleep anyways. What is your problem? No one will believe me, but I saw it. I did. I saw that monster with my own eyes, plain as day. Yes, it was on a night like tonight with a foul wind blowing. Uh, huh? Hello? I came to Desir to explore the lands to the west of here and search for my heritage as a Cretan. But the road to the mountains is out, and I was denied passage. Uh -huh. Well, time to enter the Coliseum. Hi, Coliseum. And... This town is a treasure trove of information. We have a long and storied history to thank for that. The more I study, the more the machinations of this world grow clear to me. This should be... that's in... Should be a shop here. Fortune's Market. Thank you very much. Alright, before we go much further, I think I want to... I'll talk to this guy. Yeah, there's... Not too much information. There's some exceptionally large enemies lurking in dungeons. These are known as Giga Monsters, or Giganto Monsters. A lot stronger than normal enemies. Cannot be defeated easily. Sometimes it's better to just run. If you do manage to defeat them, however, they will reappear in the same area after some time. So, uh. Yeah. I think I'll just, uh, save for now.